Okay, so I'm going to start. Uh, hello. So as you can see here, we are using the terminal in, or green screens 5250 terminal. And uh, with the command uh, start sec, you can see all our portfolio products that possible uh, to use, to install on the IBM I. Uh, we are talking about now about the reports. So almost all products, I think all products has, re has uh, reports. In the audit, you have reports, AP Journal using reports, Capture, Change Tracker, Firewall has reports, Field Encryption has reports, and of course, not only reports, also the logs. The reports based on the logs of the product's activities. And if you look at the, the, the next screen, we have return and demand reports, passport research reports, you have MFA reports, antivirus, anti ransomware. All products has unique reports specifically for the products. So we are talking now about first product, our base product. This is the audit. The audit uh, function of the report is 41 and option number one. Call it queries. So as you can see, this is the built-in queries, built-in reports that with the, within the system, almost uh, more than 10 and more years, it based on our experience in auditing, in security area. So the customer, when he installed the audit, he already has a lot of reports that he can use immediately without any change, without any new definitions. He can run reports on this screen, for example, if I'm running this report user without no passwords, with no passwords, I press enter and I have, I have the results, immediately results of the reports. So this is the basic definitions and basic activation of the reports. If I want to uh, search for some specific report, I can put here the word, for example, I want to get reports with a password word and here, you see, user without no password, password expired, user with the password by group profiles, etc. And if I want to find something other, for example, I'm looking for the reports, then the user word inside the label of the report. So you can get all reports with the user, user profiles with all object authority, etc. Q users and users with limited capability, etc. So with option five, and you're running five, you can get immediately a report. And uh, to get information, you can take a print screen, etc. But uh, another important option that we have in the reports menu is to run reports immediately on the on the screen interactively, or you can run it by option, uh, option eight, run it on the bench, okay? Uh, another thing that you can do with the reports, you can copy report to the new name and to update the filter inside the report. For example, I'm going to uh, I'm going to copy this report to the new name. I press enter, and then I can update now the definitions of new report based on the original report and I can press enter here and enter again and here I can use the new filter for example this is the building filter based on the original report for limit capability equal yes but I want to see a user's profile name not equal or let's say not start with Q so all functions is here you can use these functions here and start this is the option of the function that I'm using now. You can uh, use other functions, equal, not equal, little equal, great equal, little, great, list, not in list, like, not like, item, not item, start, not start, and PGM also. And also you can use like with, the, with this uh, sign, percent sign before the string. So in this case, I want to use this U definitions in the filter, not start with Q. So I press enter and the next menu, I can uh, change the fields order. So as you can see, this is the field number one from the left. I can change, I can put 
this one one and this one two. It will replacing the order. And also I can delete some fields that I want, don't want to see. I can delete them. I don't want to see this one, 999. It won't be in the list anymore. And the next menu, uh, dealing with the sort. What will be the sort option? So I want to use the user profile name, sequence one. I can, you can use another option of the sort. Status, press enter. And now press enter. And now you have a new report and the users uh, with this, that starting with Q won't be seen in this menu without Q users starting with the Q. So this way, how you can copy original report to the new and highly recommended, not change anything in the new report, in the existing reports. Only if you want to add your own report, you can copy and you can uh, change the new report definitions by option number one, for example. You can get inside and you can, for example, I want to see only the user, uh, only list of the users that equal status equaled with F4, I can choose the status, only enabled users, okay? And I can run it immediately on the screen. And uh, now you see the list is uh, has a minimum of users that enable, status enable only. Um, okay, what, what additional thing you can do with the reports? <clears throat> you can run them on the batch if it's Report that will run a lot of time, so you can run in the batch with option number eight, and you can schedule these reports. So this is the best option for the companies. So you're just putting on the S, and you can choose specific uh, group of the schedule reports. For example, this will be daily, and from this moment, these reports will be sent in the scheduler automatically, based on the scheduler job. This scheduled job and we can see that it's running weekly basis in three o'clock in the morning and when this job will run it will already send the exist the report that we defined just now so let's go back to the queries options and here the report s is to run it in the schedule okay so let's look into the um, uh, option how we create a new report from zero to create new report from zero you can use option f6 you can give a name to the report a description is important because description will describe why you're using this report in in the type you're using f4 to see the q audit journal entry types so audit reports based mostly reports based on the QRG journal system or uh, journal. And you can see, you can choose here uh, different uh, uh, entry types. Just a moment. Okay. So this is built-in entry types. You can see, but some of them with a special sign, like dollar, like add signed, like DS uh, DS signed. Some of these reports is from Rasli database, Rasli special uh, entry type. And uh, you can also use these entry types. It's, it's based on the, your needs. So for example, if you know the entry type that you want to get report from here, like example, CD, CD is command string audit, or uh, if you want next entry type JS, JS action the effective job, well, you choose this entry type, enter, and now you can fill here the filter, or you can keep it without filter for, for the first period, first time. Uh, and again, you can see the sort option, okay, press enter. Enter, enter. So this report is empty because there's no such a, uh, events based on the GS, in just example. Okay, so it was the example how to build new reports based on the entry type. So let's delete this report. 
Uh, okay, uh, another nice option that you, you can uh, get in the audit, and also in all our products, is an option scheduler. Work with report scheduler. As you remember, we added one report into the schedule group. So the schedule uh, definitions is based on this menu. So we added the test report, as you can see here. This is the test one. We added to the, this group. Okay. And you, as you can see, in this group, you have a lot of reports that added before. The red line, the red color, main meaning of red color, these reports are not existing anymore. So we can delete it. We don't need it. It just was an example. One of the, my colleagues. So I can delete it from this from this list. Okay. And also, also this one we can delete it. It's not necessary. The red one is not existing anymore. So we clear this report. Okay. So now you see we have a daily group that we added, a test report. And now we can define the output of this group by option number one. We can see that this definition is most important because the output will be in PDF and will send to the email of the auditor or security team. And you can also choose the output based on PDF, HTML, CSV. You can send it to the spool file or external uh, out file. Okay, so this most important uh, definitions that uh, react on the output of this schedule reports, group of the ports. You can add here, here a few email, etc. Just a moment. Okay, thank you. So you can add here in uh, different email. Uh, you can edit another one, but I highly recommend to use here a distribution uh, email address for few users okay so remember you have to update the group okay and after that you update the group it the influence of these definitions will, will be reflect, react on this job on the work job schedule okay on this group so the group is it definition the name of the group is here and this is the prefix of the schedule job so it was an example of audit, how to manage reports in audit. So if we're looking inside the firewall, for example, you will see the same thing, option 41, option one queries, and you already have built-in ready reports that based on experience of many years. For example, you can get here uh, rejects, logs that pass into the firewall, uh, sign on, who sign on into the system. Uh, you can get here incoming IPs through, you see, the reports, SQL and IPs and such. And the same concept, the same as an audit. If it will be a big, big and a huge report, it will take time to run it on the screen, you can run it with option eight, into the batch, you can uh, run it immediately with option five. You can put in the scheduler. You say we, if we put in on the scheduler, so we have different scheduler in the firewall. The scheduler for firewall, so you will see it also in the screen, and you can see here firewall reports under this group. And the same concept, you can add uh, email. And you can add here a PDF output or HTML type, etc. The same concept because when you one, one, you have to know only one product, and from the one product you can uh, see the same functions in other products like firewall, etc. Uh, let's look into the other products. Uh, if we're looking uh, in the product change tracker. A change tracker is monitoring the, the changes in the files and the products and the programs in the production machines. It's like a release management. So, for example, if I'm looking now on the changes from the beginning of this uh, year mount, so you can see that uh, this object 
a printer file was replaced in this library. And uh, PGM is the most important for companies. You can see the PGM was deleted, the program was deleted from this library. And you can uh, categorize these changes into the project, into the environment, and after that you can get a report based on the project name or environment, and you can see uh, the report that, that uh, including project name and what was changed under this project name. What was the pro new programs replaced, deleted, and created that connected to this project? So again, all this option forty one queries, building reports. You can run reports on the screen. Uh, let's uh, choose one of the reports. Uh, for example, libraries that defined to be monitored by change tracker. So we have special reports, static report. And if you looking for the changes, let's look at this is the all changes. Let's start it. So you can see the full report. And again, you can take the report, put S. Add it, add it to your uh, group and it will run automatically every day, every week. It depends on the schedule job. So this is the concept of the reports on the green screen. Okay, now we're talking about the GUI client reports. So as you can see in the GUI, we have a few helpers that we can choose specific helper that we want to present the report. So in the previous session, you saw the green screen from RL Dev helper, and now uh, we're also passing uh, open the this menu with the RL Dev. You can, you can you can see all installed programs and applications here. You can see the audit, all our portfolio that has the support of the GUI. We can see plus a special uh, component for the GUI, this visualizer BI. We're talking about it also. So the reports in the GUI uh, has a special place um, in this mom, in this place, logs. So you can see the logs, sorry, the logs is specific logs is here and the reports, queries and reports is here. So as you can see, you have the audit reports, audit report in demand, change tracker, firewall, etc. The same concept, but the small difference that we have a special part in the GUI for the GUI queries and reports specific place. In the green screen, it's inside each product. In the GUI, we have a specific place it's here. So if I am going to again to the audit reports, and here you can see the same reports that we have in the audit. So let me show you the green screen. The green screen. 41. One, the same reports you see in the green side and also here. And this one we built a few minutes ago in the green screen, test one. Uh, and if I pressing double click, I can see inside important information like a filter as we did a few minutes ago. We took the original limit capability, yes, equals yes. And we added not start with Q and we added uh, equals to only status enabled of the users. Okay. You have another menu that we have in the green screen. So you can choose here all users or you can put in generic users names. Uh, the output fields, you can choose, for example, I don't want to see this one. And uh, you press enter and it won't be there anymore. Uh, sort fields, you can move this option and that won't appear anymore or appears anymore. You can add here a specific uh, explanation of the report if you want. And uh, this is the way how you update the report. So you can update immediately on the GUI. It will ref reflect immediately on the green screen. It's like emulator, the GUI, it will change anything immediately. Okay, so in this way, how you uh, update the reports, you can with a right click on the report, you can run it, 
print the, the report locally, the name of the report locally on the print, or you can run it on the IBM I. You can schedule it. Okay, the, the output will be the same. So if uh, you will run this report, you will get the same output as in the green screen. Okay, uh, so this is the concept of the GUI, of the GUI reports for audit. Uh, you can uh, use with option uh, right click on the mouse to uh, copy report, the new name as we did before, you can give a new description also. Uh, you can schedule, okay, I already talked about the schedule. And uh, now let's look into the other reports that we have in the GUI, the change tracker. You can see the same report that we few minutes ago we saw it we can run it on the batch with option run and it will run immediately on the green screen uh, let's look into other products like command it's a part of the one comp edition component for firewall uh, here the firewall reports you can copy report to the new one and you can oh, you can add a new one like, like here for example you can use this option like add, and then you can create a new report, test, give a description, firewall report, and the next. Okay. You can include uh, filters here. You can choose specific uh, fields. Okay finish then you create a new report test report and you can run it you can put in the scheduler this is remember this is the group that we talk about it okay and you can run it run report you can get a pdf uh, you can send it to email or html and about the visualizer we talk in a few minutes, seconds from now Okay, so I want to send it to my email. Next, you can choose the interval of the data. Press enter, and it's sending to the batch, and I'm supposed to get it in a few, few minutes into the, my email. It's based on the few minutes it should arrive to my email. Uh, okay, so let's look into the another option that we have here. Uh, we close the queries and reports, and we have another component, Visualizer BI. Visualizer BI, it's an additional component of GUI. Uh, we have this component for audit, firewall, and also for AP Journal. We have this support. And uh, let's look into the data that we can get from the GUI Visualizer for firewall. We can get statistic data. Uh, based on the period, this is the filter of the period from the first August first until today. We can see here a quantity of access through the firewall. We can see the under this filter uh, the internal servers was busy with the users, and uh, for example, we see the, a lot of DB open uh, activity in this machine. So I can make a report from this information. I can open this option run report and then i get specific report on my screen on my window screen so i can print it from the windows okay this is the difference and then another option i can i can go to the logs of the firewall that including this uh, database and i can uh, use this information i can print it i can uh, make a copy of this information, but not report from here. So this is the, another option in the audit, the same concept. You run the audit statistics information. You can get a, get a report from here locally on the windows. Okay. You can drill to data and uh, you can get inside the filter by marking the line choose the jobs for example there's a lot of jobs of this uh, from which ip i can check the ip address that was responsible 
let's for example take this AP, the program, okay, and I can generate reports locally, HTML report, I can uh, turn it to the uh, PDF from the Windows, so it's easily to turn it to the PDF. And okay, let's look into another examples that I can get here. Let's look into the firewall. Uh, this important option, I can uh, make a report to Excel based on this data. Oh, this is the report to Excel. Let's look into the result of this report on the desktop. So this is the result of the report from the GUI visualizer into the Excel format. Okay, uh, so I think we cover all the reports possibilities in our system. Thank you.